Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and I want to update you guys on the Latte Panda Hackintosh build. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, a couple of weeks ago, I did a guide on installing Hackintosh on the Latte Panda. I'll leave a link here or in the description below. So this is basically just a follow-up video, so let's get started. To be honest, this video would have came out a little bit sooner if I wasn't binging on Becky and Chris's channel because they have such good content. They are lifestyle slash travel slash DIY channel. So if you guys are interested, I'll leave a link in the description below for them. Now, one of the things that I love about their channel is that one, they're written very well. I mean, written loosely because they're a vlog and they're very story driven. Two, they love to refer back to something they did earlier, which is, which fills my need to know what happened. So here's an example. Hey, uh, you hungry? Remember a few months ago? Is it root or route? So I say route, you say root as in root vegetable. If you think it's root, <laughs> say Becky's right. If you think it's route, say Chris is right. If I win, you have to buy me chicken nuggets and fries. And I want a Coke and mayonnaise. But you have to get it and serve it to you in bed. Serve it to me, yes. Serve it to and you. And it must be hot. I'm cashing it. And they have many more content like that, which just fills my needs. And they're just like one of those comedians who tell a joke in the beginning, five jokes down the line, they actually refer back to their first joke because that always gets me and they're hilarious. And yet right now they're doing it again. I'm supposed to tell you about an update and I'm doing a channel review. So let's get back to the Latte Panda update. And uh, I'm making it a point that this will be my little baby because now if you guys installed Hackintoshes before, you know it's very hardware driven. And if you were to replace a graphic card, you might ultimately break the installation of your Hackintosh. So it's not the case for the Latte Panda because everything's built inside. So if I, I know that the graphic card is gonna be on PCIe slot zero and stuff like that. So whatever configuration files I throw at it, I know it will work. So that's why I want to make this as best as possible. And I will update you guys along the way. And if you wanna find the little updates that I'm doing, Follow me on Twitter, seriously. Like I've been posting a lot of stuff that I've been doing, fixing this, fixing that. And you could get almost instant feedback from me if you follow me on Twitter. So I'll leave right here and link below. Yeah, so the first main thing I did was fix the HDMI audio. Not me per se, but uh, a GitHub user by the name of Steven. Uh, he pointed me out what I needed to do as far as the configurations to get the HDMI audio working. So that is working now. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Two, uh, HDMI monitor detection is working as well. So no more pink screens when you're installing because of my wrong EDID file. Thanks to Jamie for pointing that out. And we are also working very hard to get the 3.5 millimeter audio jack working in cohesion with the HDMI audio. So what I mean by that is right now HDMI audio works through Apple HDA, which is great. That's the built-in driver. Everything works great, but the 3.5 doesn't work. And in order to get that to work, you still need to install Voodoo which will break the HDMI. Uh, so that's not gonna work together. But there is a way, since we know the audio, uh, the Apple HDA works, we know there's a way to get it to work with the 3.5. We just need to get the correct layout file or the correct drivers, you could say. And that's what Jamie's doing. He actually did a dump. If you guys want the dump file, let me know. But he did a dump. He sent it out to a couple of people who are more knowledgeable than us. And hopefully they'll be able to create a driver in the future for us to work. So that's coming along the way. A couple of other things that I did was uh, I cleaned up the configuration files, removed all the stuff that I didn't need as far as like a lot of stuff I was testing. So I just left it on there. So I removed a lot of that. A lot of Kex files I removed. So it made the file a lot smaller. So uh, yeah, basically just follow the same steps as install. Use the latest version that I've been updating and you should be fine with the 10.14.1 and hopefully future updates to come. But again, I will be supporting this project. So if there's something that broke in the future updates, I will be trying to fix that as soon as possible. So do, honestly, don't update your installation until you see an update from me or from my GitHub or from Twitter, honestly. So follow me there. As well as uh, one of the main questions a lot of you guys have been asking, uh, is iMessenger working? Yes, iMessage works. Uh, does FaceTime work? Yes, FaceTime also works. Uh, also, on a side note, Jamie also bought these pieces that allows you to use the official Apple Wi-Fi and the official Apple Bluetooth working on the Latte Panda. It also works with the main keyboard, that the Apple keyboard. So, And that also works during the BIOS boot up, which is amazing. That means it just works like an Apple. As far as um, the case 
for this guy. I was meaning to design a case, but I'm actually still waiting for Latte Panda to release their case. So I'm gonna wait for that a little bit longer before I work on a micro Mac case, I guess, that I wanna do. Maybe laser cut it, I don't know yet. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts. So um, what do you guys think of this new layout? Uh, this is my monitor, the 4K monitor I used to use. I am actually using an ultra wide over here, but I kind of want to fix this as my background. I might want to do something with this, this black piece over here. Also clean up the drawers and actually put some stuff here and remove this table. I don't know. This is a new layout that I kind of am playing around with because I like I'm in the center. Yeah, let me know what you guys think.